from Miller. He guns it down to second as Chadwick will face James Steele's four to three. San Diego leads it by one. Gossage remains loose down in their bullpen. And Donnie Moore throwing in the Angel bullpen. And as you were saying yesterday, Joey, they want to work him today and then bring him back and work him tomorrow. Right. They want to give him an inning each day because he has not pitched consecutive days yet this spring. And that's necessary, obviously, for a short reliever. James Steele's one for three. Singled his first time up. He has grounded out twice since then. Come on, Steele, get on there. Chadwick comes inside with a pitch for ball one. There's Sandy Alomar. A little grayer than what I remember and a little paunchier, too. Aren't we all? Check swing roller toward first, but foul. Donnie Moore throwing hard down in the Angel bullpen. And Goose Gossage had been in the San Diego bullpen. And he also hear. is throwing hard. You, you can hear him, too. There's Donnie. A looper behind second base and a base hit. Kind of off the hands of Steeles for a leadoff single off Chadwick. You ask, would Steeles steal a base? Can he run? He stole 35 at Las Vegas last year. That's hard to get away with anything in Las Vegas, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's almost impossible. Benito Santiago, 0 for 3, flight out, fouled out, grounded up. Bunch it up to third base side. Desense Fields throws over to McLemore, covering it first, and the sacrifice works again as Boa plays it the same way he did in the seventh inning when they broke the 3 3 tie. Well, the job's getting done. I'm sure Larry Boa just likes the execution. That's so important. Things that should be easy to do, like bunting a man over to second base, you, you cannot take it for granted it's going to happen, but it, it sure has worked well today for the Padres. The batter is Tim Flannery, the second baseman. Four to three, San Diego leads by one, a chance to get another. Flannery 0 for 2 with a walk. Flannery playing at second base. He's going to be more than likely on this club as a backup infielder, but who knows? His history in the past has been starting that way and then winding up playing a lot. Uh, he's a good utility man. He could play second base, can play third base. Last year was him and Jerry Royster as the lefty righty tandem. Two and oh, the count on Flannery. One out runner at second. Desense still on over third. Schofield, McLemore, Hendrick. And George's second inning of workout at first base. And no change in the outfield with Howell and Pettis and White. Third second, McLemore looks at the runner going over to third and then tosses to, Flanner, to uh, Hendrick to get Flannery. With two out, Steeles winds up at third base and Joey Cora will be up there. And you're going to have to play the infield shallow with the man at third base and Cora, who can run very well, might lay down a bunt, try to steal a run here. Plus impress his manager. And George Hendrick better move in a little bit. He's playing back. And Cora, all he has to do is drag the ball. Shows bunt, takes high on a breaking pitch for a ball. Two out, runner at third. We're in the top of the eighth inning. Four to three, San Diego. Four, eight, and one for the Padres. Three, six, and zero oh for the Angels. Throw to third, close, but no cigar. Two and zero. Oh. Very little breeze here at the ballpark now. It hasn't been a breezy day. There's been a little breeze kick up now and again. Two ball count on Cora, who is 0 for 2 with a walk, and he scored the tie-breaking run. Takes high for a ball from Chadwick. Chadwick came on, gave up a walk, a base hit, and then struck out a man. 
And the run was charged to Chuck Finley, though Finley pitched very competitively. There's a strike three and one. But it was a leadoff walk that Finley gave up to start the seventh inning that came in to score. He walked Cora. Jefferson then sacrificed him to second. He struck out Gwen, but walked Kevin Mitchell. Cora walks here. And it was John Crook that bounced one to the right side that got in the tie-breaking run. That is the fifth base on balls given to San Diego hitters today. And it'll bring up Stan Jefferson, the leadoff man. He's had a triple, and he is one for three with a sacrifice. All right, you have a first and third situation where you might see Boa send Cora, try to get the throw to second, and try to pull that double steal. He wouldn't Gene. try to trick him out of a run, would he? Well, it? I don't think Gene Mock will throw through. I was thinking more in uh, having the runner break off at first, fake a stumble, draw a throw from the catcher to the first baseman, and then start the runner from third. It happened here, I don't know, two or three years ago. Billy Martin did it when he was still managing Oakland. And wound up stealing a run, as it turned mm -hmm. out. Breaking ball misses for a ball. The core is looking over at first base at Alomar. He's looking for the wink, which is usually the sign from the first base coach to the base runner. Just in case he thinks he missed something watching uh, Harry Dunlop over at third base. Too high, 2 and 0. Oh. Chadwick struggling a little bit here. He is. He just doesn't seem to be in tune right now. Two balls, no strikes, two out. Runners at first and third. That's James Steele's over at third. And Joey Cora at first base. He draws a throw. Four to three, San Diego by one. So the last two have been kind of freewheeling affairs of quite a bit of scoring, especially on the Angels' part in the last two days. But not today. Runner at first goes, a throw to shortstop. The Schofield, they throw to second, and safe at second is Cora. Even though Schofield took it and then flipped it back to McLemore, but the runner at third stayed home. That's the good, that's the play. Uh, that's the play where you're not throwing through. You're throwing right at the shortstop who's coming straight in at you with the left-hand hitter up. The right-hand hitter would be the second baseman who can straight at you. This was never a plan to throw through, but that particular tail end there is when Schofield tried to throw to McLemore coming in behind the runner. They came close to getting him anyway. Yeah. Jefferson batting with a two-ball, one-strike count. Popped up foul, out of play, back into the parking lot. There they go, scrambling. They had a white car out there of some sort. It might have been one of those fancy little white cars that you see. Nifty little sports type car. Fouled again in the same direction. Two balls, two strikes, two out, two on. And a 4-3 ball game in the top of the eighth inning in Palm Springs. Spring training game between the Padres and the Angels. The first of four they're going to play here. Just missed with the pitch. Wolf count three and two. Donnie Moore has eased up and is throwing down to the bullpen. He's kind of taking his time going about it. Steals at third. Cora at second. 3-2 pitch. Struck him out. Jefferson disgustedly throws away the bat. He got caught chasing a bad ball. No run. One hit. A walk. Two men are left. San Diego is stranded nine as we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It's still 4-3 San Diego with McLemore due to lead it off. Downing to follow and then Devon White.